Greetings and praise the Lord. Hello, brothers and sisters. How is our God watching over you and keeping you? Reverend Lydia here with the word of the Lord. Praise the Lord. I bring you greetings, yes, from myself, my family, and the online church of Uganda. At the online church of Uganda, we love God and love his people. At the online church of Uganda, it's all about loving God and loving his people. Praise the Lord. So we love you and we are committed to praying with you and for you by the grace of God. Praise the Lord. We thank God for what he is doing. Yes, at the Online Church of Uganda, we have been focusing on prayer and fasting, you know, spiritual warfare and going deep in the aspect of prayer. Friends, we have received a number of testimonies and encouragements from God's people who have grown in prayer, who have grown in praying the word of God to him, who have experienced God's power, and as well, who have experienced testimonies from the Lord. So we really, really thank God. Our God listens to the prayers and the cries of his people. Never downplay prayer. Yes, Prayer touches the heart of God and more so a prayer that comes from his child, that comes from the bottom of their hearts. It touches the heart of God. So brothers and sisters, yes, we are continuing a little bit further this week in that aspect. And today, the topic of our discussion is what to say in prayer. What to say in prayer. I will focus on the aspect of adoration adoration brothers and sisters i believe that many of us yes you who is listening to me you create time to pray and talk to god possibly you're also listening to me and for you do not believe in prayer or you think prayer doesn't you know bother you or doesn't work for you or it's not an important aspect of your life i want to let you know brothers and sisters that indeed uh, jesus christ our lord and savior taught his disciples how to pray and because he is our model some of us are committed to following him hallelujah and also if you're there and you don't believe in prayer it's also great to try it one day <laughs> try talking to god let me tell you i do not know of any other religion where the followers or the members are given an opportunity to speak to their god freely apart from Christianity. Yes, Christianity is a faith or a relationship where human beings relate with God. A relationship between God and his people. So in this relationship, this Christianity, God takes pleasure in speaking to his people and listening to his people. So when you do not talk to him, you deny yourself an opportunity or you cheat yourself. You don't cheat God, but you cheat yourself. So brothers and sisters, our God that we pray to or that we are talking about, brothers and sisters, loves talking to his people and listening to his people. So try out prayer one day because prayer is simply conversing with God. Having a conversation with God, telling him about issues concerning your life, those that have disturbed you, those that have made you so sad, heartbreaks, even happy moments, generally conversing with him. And you as well, allowing him to speak to you because it is a two way. So as we talk about adoration, the aspect of adoration in prayer. You know, very often we all come to pray with uh, many burdens sometimes or we come with a list like a shopping list. And so when you come to God, you're simply mentioning this and mentioning this and, and then you say amen and go away. But friends, when Jesus Christ taught his disciples how to pray, he structured the prayer that he gave to them. So shall we turn to God's word, Matthew chapter 6 from verse 9. To 13. What does it say? This then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth 
as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. Lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from the evil one. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, when the disciples watched Jesus pray, they got intrigued. I believe they watched him do this activity on a number of occasions. They watched him many times withdraw and speak to someone they could not see. They watched him spend time alone talking to his father. And so one of them came and said, hey, teach us how to pray. And the Lord told them. That's why we have the Lord's Prayer. Yes, the Lord's Prayer is that model that Christ has given to us. And there are great aspects in the Lord's Prayer that we can study or tear apart and go in depth so that we can indeed follow the Lord's Prayer or use the Lord's Prayer as we connect with God or talk to God. So today, I will emphasize the aspect of adoration. As I said, many times we come with a list, a shopping list. Our requests are so many. Our requirements are so many. But friends, when Jesus taught his disciples, he said, come to him and say, our father. Approach him as your father. And when you approach him as your father, come and exalt him. Allow it be thy name. Lifting him above every situation. I have learned, my sisters and brothers, that when you engage in prayer, in that conversation with God, from a free spirit point of view, with, you know, yes, you might be troubled in a number of ways, but then you just approach him to adore him to worship him, to exalt him, to lift him above everything. Let me tell you, it is so enjoyable. When it's not about you saying, I want this, I want this, I, I, but it's just about him, adoring him, bowing before him, exalting him, worshiping him. Brothers and sisters, when we worship God, when our prayers are about God, we touch the heart of God. I want to let you know that worship, the aspect of adoration, the aspect of exalting God above your concerns, above your worries, above your fears, touches the heart of God. And let me tell you, it is healing on its own. Yes. Praise and worship or adoration in prayer brings breakthrough in our lives yes adoration in prayer focusing on god lifting him above everything exalting him let me tell you it lifts our hearts we by doing that we are set free when we focus on god in prayer let me tell you we draw god's attention to us not that God does not want to listen to us when we are making our requests. He does. When we go down in the Lord's Prayer, there's also that aspect of supplication, asking for what we need. But this beginning part of adoration is so core and central. When you study the Psalms, the Psalmist had discovered that. When you go through a number of Psalms, we see him, we engage with him, we encounter him telling God, despite of the tears and the cries, we see him still saying, oh, you are the Lord of my life. How I adore you. How I exalt you. Like in Psalm 27, he says, one thing have I desired. This is what I long for, that I may dwell in your house. To gaze upon your beauty. Wow. And yet he wrote that psalm when he was facing persecution. When he was running away from his son, he wrote that psalm amidst suffering. But he put the pains aside and just focused on the goodness of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, may we learn that in our prayers. Very many times in prayer, yes, I tend to get lost in exalting God. I tend to get lost in adoring God. Because let me tell you, it is a privilege. 
It is a privilege for us to be able to even talk with God. No one of us is deserving. But through Jesus Christ, the way was created. The gate was open that we can come before him, before his mercy seat and bow down. So, approaching God for who he is, let me tell you, it is a secret to many breakthroughs in our lives. So friends, let's approach this great God in his ownness, in his greatness, as he is, because he is who he is, Yahweh, the great I am, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the creator of the universe, the one who formed you and me in his own image. So he deserves to be exalted. As a matter of fact, he created you and me to worship him. That's why we are alive. We exist to worship the Lord. Like our Archbishop loves to say a number of times, he loves to say that God has done everything, but there's one thing he cannot do, worship himself. And so he keeps calling upon us, the theologians, to engage with that statement. Yes, God has created you and me to worship God, to worship him. So prayer is not necessarily about me. Yes, prayer doesn't change God. Prayer changes me. But let me tell you, prayer is supposed to be focused towards God. Yes. It is not, it's not about the many words we say. It is not about the length of the prayer, but it's about the quality and most so that quality that allows you, the time of prayer that allows you to focus on God. To bow down at the feet of God, if I'm to use that, to exalt him. And as I conclude, brothers and sisters, I want to invite you to that place in your quiet time where you simply go and adore the Lord and focus on him. Pour out your heart, cry to him, release yourself, be real and exalt him. God is moved when we do it from the bottom of our hearts. We don't want to be like those men that Jesus addressed in Matthew and said, they worship me with their lips, but their hearts are so far. So true adoration comes from our hearts. May the Lord help you and me to worship him, to adore him every time we engage with him in prayer, but from the bottom of our hearts. May the Lord bless you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for reminding us that it's important to pray. And one of the aspects we have to bring in prayer is adoration and exaltation. So I pray for my brothers and sisters, for myself, that every time we come to you in prayer, we shall focus on you first. That it will not be about us, it will be about you. So teach us how to worship you in spirit and in truth. Because this is the time and you long for those who will worship you in spirit and truth. So help us. I pray for my brothers and sisters, and Lord, you may meet them at their very point of need, and that you alone will receive the glory. Brothers and sisters, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord turn his face towards you. May the Lord smile over you, and indeed, may he make you a blessing. In the name of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.